Picture you in hell, choir boy. You know that time when you've just moved to New York? You know that time when you've just moved to New York? And you take the first apartment you find on Craigslist with some dude you never expected? That's where my story begins. Doors unlocked! Oh my god, you still banging that demon shit? I thought someone was getting murdered in here last night. Yeah, yeah, Callie has some hostility issues. Yeah, no shit. My friend Ray chewed off a guy's ball bag once, and that whole process was less noisy. Would you mind uh, unhinging the bedpost, please? I can get somebody out there Friday between 9 and uh, 9. Can you narrow that time frame a little? Buddy, I got zombies putting arms through doors all over Manhattan. Take it or leave it. Friday? What part of Friday is African dance class do you not get? Randall and I were in the same boat as far as women went. He'd gone zombie a few months back for all the wrong reasons. I really like you, but I kind of only date zombies, so... Sorry, I'm just really into warlocks now. Never make life decisions with a hard-on and a fifth of tequila. Crap. What do you got going on today? Thought I'd stare blankly ahead with cold, dead eyes for a while, how I do. Maybe check out Kung Fu Panda. Oh, by the way, this thing that you got going with Callie, it's none of my business. But? It's just that I wouldn't touch her with my cock, and it's dead, so. You have a little, uh... Milk? A little bit of milk, probably. No, it's skin. Did I get it? Yeah, you're good. He was right, of course. Sleeping with the boss, never a great idea. In my defense, she's hot, and our parts match up. That's rarer than you'd think in this city. Things are pretty hairy in Soho with continued congestion due to the Yeti convention. Avoid Midtown as well, which is still backed up from a land whale collision earlier this morning. Fucking land whales. They can't drive. You know, my sister married one of them blowholes last year. Now every Thanksgiving I have to spend with his blood clot rise. Last night was an enormous mistake, Mark. Expect no special treatment just because you've seen my cooch. And a good morning to you, too. Kelly, who are you talking to about your cooch? I said scooch. Tape. Scooch tape, sir. It's maintenance. Get me my scooch tape, maggot! Granted, not the most nurturing relationship, but the way I figure, if you like it normal, why bother coming to New York? Hey, buddy, maybe a diaper here? Suck my balls! Yeah, I hear that's good luck. Okay, guys, yeah, Top Brass has slashed our budget and left us to rot. But I say we get out there and we prove them wrong. Mark, they've all been laid off. You were supposed to get their security passes. So, carry what I just said to your new places of employment. (coughs) Mark's a blowjob. That was totally audible, Garrison. Sucks being you, huh, choir boy? Excellent debasing, Callie. Now, just finish it. Oh! Yeah, that's how I like it. Pissing where you mix the potions, eh? Uh, Pretty much. Been there. Good times. Look at all these files. I am totally screwed. We'll split them, okay? Straight down the middle. You're the best, Leonard. Go make me proud, kiddo. Abracadabra. So, I thought it might be helpful if we share our problems and questions in a group setting from now on. I heard you were slapping us together just to save time. It's not true. Of course it's true. The great brain knows all. He heard you in men's room. He in there all day. You don't know me. No, he's right. The department has been slashed. But, uh, I can still provide you with what you need to become U.S. citizens. Uh, yes. Lefty. Martin. Martin? Sorry. Still learning the names here. We keep getting counted as two people. Clearly one entity. I'm marking it in your file. Yeah, related question. Are there any double-ass toilets in Manhattan? I know for a fact Wendy's Midtown is double-ass accessible. I'll get you the comprehensive list after class. Righteous. (laughs) tubular. Yes, uh, Margaret. 
I wish to make anger toward the robots. Oh, here we go. For taking all the good jobs. In my country, we call him the toilet bowl. For this is the place we relieve ourselves of waste. I take issue with that. Don't forget to take tissue with that toilet. Oh, shit, you know, serve your ass. Robots are not the enemy here, okay, people? And whatever you are, in the back, we have more in common than not. Mr. Lilly, a word? Okay, big day tomorrow. I'll see you in the morning on the steps for the swearing-in ceremony. I hear he's stooping the boss. The innocent ones always have a taste for danger. Stop being such a boy scout and process the numbers. Tween is ready to fire you as it is. I thought you didn't want to do this anymore. Why? Because I said so? Oh, Mark. So innocent. I just want to corrupt your soul and drag you through the bowels of hell! What's wrong? The demon voice? No. No, it just, just takes a little getting used to. Why don't you kids get a room? Ever heard of knocking? And bitch, how would you propose that I knock exactly? Oh, I know. I'll just knock with my spongy brain liners. That ought to make quite a racket. Here, listen. <sighs> well, that's a mood killer. Five bucks, Martin. They were totally doing it. Wait a minute. You placed a zombie at the MBD? As a window washer? Yes. Tyler Mason. First job as an undead America. It was a great moment. Do you even know what MBD stands for? Manhattan building of, um... No. You'll never take me alive, coppers! It's called irony. I'm already dead. Is this thing on? Tyler, it's me, Mark Lilly. I'm coming in. So, you're a zombie. So, let's quit. So, let's just eat brains now. Come on, man. You're bigger than this. <laughs> Stop it. This is all about your dad. I hate him so much! What is with you guys in the door splintering? I don't know. Look, just put the brains down and we'll walk out of here. You and me. Yeah, come on, man. Let, let's hug it out. He's going for Lily's brains! Take him out! Oh, great! The ladies are gonna love this! Hold your fire! We're coming out. In a very general sense, I think you saved one tonight. It's my fault he was there in the first place. You've got to detach yourself from the process. I mean, look at me. I'm not even here right now. Whoa, wait, then, then where are you? I'm just putting out a few fires. Uh, the work never stops, does it? Keep your chin up. You're right, I should be more positive. Good. Now mash those breasts together. Wait, what? Oh, I thought you were talking oh, to me. You're a naughty, naughty girl, aren't you? Maybe turn your hologram off. I don't, you are I don't know how that works. You're tripping but wet. I'm gonna go. Shake it off, brah. The night is young and this joint is crawling with kelf. Check out fun bags on your sex. Oh, um, wait, uh, one more time. I said a vodka tonic and a long straw, please. Can you believe this? My skin's falling off like Asabuko and she's all over me. You want to nail it with me? It is literally anything that moves with you, isn't it? What, are you still on Cali? Dude, you hopped off that meat bus 12 hours ago. Be in the now. Get. Out. Alright, fine. More face beaver for me, then. That was a major screw-up, Lily. I know. Poor Tyler. I need to read the manual way more carefully. Or... at all, actually. I meant picking up girls the night after we sleep together. You're lucky I don't turn your dick into a bag of marshmallows right now! I'd like to see that, actually. Look, Callie, I'm flattered and terrified and all that. I just... don't think this is working out. I'm a social worker. You eat souls for fun. We, we couldn't be a worse match if we tried. And frankly, I live in constant fear that you're gonna murder me. Oh, you always know just what to say. So, that's pretty much life in the Big Apple. Overworked and underpaid, looking for love in all the wrong places. And more times than not, working for a total douche nozzle.
Must be why everyone keeps coming here. A little help! You got a, a filthy mouth, you know that? 